tension between taxi drivers and Uber drivers continues to grow tonight. Quebec taxi drivers have taken their challenge of Uber to court. And today, right in front of our news cameras, taxi drivers went on the hunt for cabbies who are doing business with Uber. Alicia Brian Baines reports. Self-described taxi sheriff Hassan Katua starts the day on a mission to track down taxi drivers doubling as Uber drivers. We have to make it clear to all taxi drivers that they are still working with Uber uh, taxi that it's totally unacceptable to work with a company that is killing your business. Soon Katua and his team find a cabbie who also has an Uber cell phone to take extra calls. This operation is just going to give you a, a small preview of what, what is going to happen. If what we are going to do with our fellow driver is going to be that, imagine what will happen to the UberX drivers that they are totally illegal. After a brief conversation, they take the cell phone and before the driver can get out of his car, smash it to pieces. The confused driver asks what he did wrong as the taxi drivers point out the way to the courthouse and to City Hall if he wants to complain. To his anger isn't just directed at Uber drivers, it's also at the government he says has enabled what he calls an illegal service. We have to make it clear to the government, uh, to, to the Minister of Transport, that if Uber wants to get in, Uber has to pay. Uber has the money, they have to pay for the permits. They cannot simply come and, uh, and steal our jobs for free. Quebec's Transport Minister says there will be a parliamentary commission on Uber. The minister didn't give a specific date for the hearings, but said he hopes it happens in the weeks to come. He also warned that disruptive technologies like Uber are probably here to stay, but that a solution has to be found. We have an injunction now. How will you implement that? How will you stop Uber.com? It's not that easy. Katua says on February 10th, taxi drivers will hold a demonstration and take the opportunity to chase after Uber drivers. Alisa Brian Baines, Global News, Montreal.